California is stuck in one of the worst droughts in its history. The state isn't completely out of water, but it is using far more than it can replenish. So where is it all going? I'm Ben Goldberger, and this is your Brief. I'm issuing an executive order mandating substantial water reduction across our state. That was California Governor Jerry Brown issuing a 25% reduction in water use. Those are the first mandatory restrictions since the current drought began four years ago. The cuts will hit the three major consumers of the state's water. The first are urban residents. California is the nation's most populous state, with some 38.8 million residents. That's an amount that's more than doubled since 1960. And the things they're being asked to cut back on? It's going to affect golf courses, uh, people's lawns, uh, universities, campuses, uh, all sorts of institutions. Take a look at the Palm Springs area. It's got lush green lawns, sprawling golf courses, and all of it in the middle of the Sonoran Desert. And its per capita water use is 201 gallons a day. That's more than double the state's average. Brown's new rules call for residents to trade their green lawns for native plants and provides incentives for installing things like low-flow toilets. But urban consumption only accounts for less than 10% of California's water use. So even if residents were to cut down by 25%, that would only save 2% across the entire state. So who consumes the rest of the water? Well, big agriculture. If the Midwest is America's breadbasket, California is its fruit bowl. The Golden State produces 99% of the country's almonds, 92% of the nation's strawberries, and 90% of its tomatoes. And that means California's 9 million acres of farmland suck up the bulk of its water. Although the $46 billion agriculture industry only makes up 2% of the state's economy, it accounts for a whopping 80% of California's human water use. But Brown's new rules don't include restrictions for farmers, who say they have already made efforts to curb their water use. And they argue that the real culprit is environmental conservation. Here's why. California's Department of Water Resources says nearly 50% of the state's water is used to preserve rivers, wetlands, and wildlife refuges. However you divide the pie, it's clear that it's getting smaller and the state's ongoing water crisis could force a real lifestyle change for millions of Californians. I'm Ben Goldberger, and you've been briefed.